Alright, this is going to be a quick screen recorded video because I just want to get this information out there. But, uh, yeah. you might have noticed if you've ever tried to run Windows 98 on VMware on an AMD Ryzen system, that you get weird errors and stuff just keeps crashing and not working and your system just absolutely does not work. Well, I recently figured out how to fix this, and it's pretty easy. So, first thing you're going to want to do is power off your Windows 98 virtual machine. And go into the settings, click the hard drive, and click remove. Then, go to add, hard drive, pick SATA in the virtual disk type. So, not IDE, just SATA. Hit next. Use an existing virtual disk. And then browse to where your disk is and then hit OK. Now before we go and install Windows 98 there's one thing we have to do. Go to a different virtual machine like XP for example and we're going to insert a floppy disk image. So I have a just a random blank disk here and we're going to format said disk. So right click format. Oh, I forgot to connect the floppy drive. Oops. Right click format. Make sure all these settings line up. Um, we'll call this SATA. And then hit start. Okay. Then, you're going to want to go to this website, which I'll have linked below, and download the AC, AHCI 9X package. Save that, and then extract it using however you want to, and then open it up. Then, onto that floppy disk we just formatted, you're going to want to copy the file called AHCI4.inf and ahci.pdr to the floppy. Then uh, you can just close the, or not close it, disconnect the disk, and then you can go back to Windows 98. In Windows 98, make sure you have your boot floppy put in and your CD ROM put in, and that your hard disk is set to SATA, and then click start. Uh, I said SATA, bad Windows 98. So then we can format my hard disk, like so. Then uh, IDK. And then we can go to the location of our DVD drive, the CD Win 98. Wait, what? What drive is this? Oh, CD Win 98, setup, IS. And we're going to leave the boot floppy in, but just for good measure, tick the read only box to make sure you don't accidentally erase it. So then run through the setup process until you get to the reboot after a file copy. That's where we'll pick back up this video. So I'll be back when we're there. Okay, eventually, it'll ask you to remove all the floppies, but we're going to leave our boot floppy in and restart. And we don't need CD-ROM support. And then we can simply switch the disk out for the disk that we put the AHCI drivers on just a moment ago. So, this is the disk. What you're going to want to do is copy AHCI four dot inf to c slash windows slash inf then copy the hci dot pdr to c slash windows then 
take the floppy up and reboot. Then, uh, then I have to enter the product key. So let me get that right. All right, so I've entered my product key, and then Windows 98 will just happily continue along with the rest of the setup procedure until it gets to a certain point, which I will be covering when it gets there. All right, so eventually it's gonna pop up a box asking for this, but we copy the file it's looking for to C Windows. Then it's gonna wanna reboot, so let it reboot. And we're gonna let this finish the entire way through and we'll be back when this is at the desktop. All right, as you can see, because of our replacement driver, Windows has successfully survived the setup and it booted. And because of the SATA driver, we're not, wait, what, hang on, what? Wait, 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 what the fuck? Wait, what? Hey, hold, hold the fuck on, what? 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 Uh, okay, I'm gonna reboot here. Hang on. Hang on real quick. That shouldn't be there. Question mark? What? Hang on. Come on, let me back in my windows. Okay. Uh, my mouse is acting up. Performance. Why is this still using file system? Why is this still using the uh, DOS protected file system when... What? What? Huh? I'm confused. Is it because we need the six port controller? Uh, all right. I'm gonna go grab the six port version of this and we'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so I tried the six port version and we're still getting the drive C is using compatibility mode, so Performance might not be that good, but if you really just need to use Windows 98 in a virtual machine, this is the best fix you can do for right now until I find another fix because I thought this would have full protected mode file system access, but I, I guess not. But I hope you found this mildly informative so that you can go back to using Windows 98 in virtual machines on Ryzen, and I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching.